What's up guys, this is the Raven and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off where we left off last time, we got given an opportunity to chew up a Maratha stack with sufficiently overwhelming forces on our side. So I figured it would be awful of us to not take up the opportunity, particularly as we have so much foot howitzer artillery. So let's fight. I have a sneaking suspicion into submission. Our infantry line is very small in comparison. Regular foot artillery and we have howitzers, all with late game artillery research behind them. So I'm not concerned about what may happen. I think, I think that our Maratha army. Oh, damn, look at this terrain. So I don't want to, don't want to combat them for the hill. I don't want to challenge them for the hill. Sorry, because, mainly because my infantry line is so very small. But I will form a defensive position and force them to attack me. Something like this will do. Because we cannot afford to waste the advantage we have in artillery. So I mean, we do have some... Okay, my guard foot artillery might have to go back here. So I'm susceptible to some danger close shenanigans. So let's keep a unit of marines and some blunderbuss shotgunners to protect the flank. Grenadier guards, you can also be down here I suppose. General in the centre. Let's rock and roll. Well, by the looks of it, I think I'm probably going to want to do something like this. Run these guys up into the into the trees to hide. So I thought I'd had a go at them. It's got some kills. Okay, let's do round shot with you guys, as you currently have no targets. Although that hasn't helped. See, we're hitting gun teams, and we actually might make one of the teams route. Oh, bouncing cannonball. Yeah, got some Pandari horsemen. Yeah, it's too bad we get absolutely pasted with artillery. Have to let our guns do the work. Let's just endure. Yep, we're going to start advancing. Leaving some lances behind to protect guns, which is a shame. I would like to run around and destroy them with my cavalry. The elephants. So the round shot's still coming in, but they're not doing that much good. There you go, my our howitzers have started engaging. I wonder if they will go for the general. He is the first target to get into range for most of them. Yeah. Turn tail. So they're particularly hitting this guards unit. They are, so they've lost 75 odd troops from the artillery bombardment. I 
still still foot targets only. Good job these guys can only hit certain well these guys will struggle to actually do too much damage because of the terrain. Oh it's another gun team. Oh, I've lost destroyed one gun team. Good their routing so it's pivot. Oh, hit their guns in transit, please. All those dead bodies. Okay, now is the time to switch to quick line. Let's bring our dragoons out. And see if we can get a good chance. Oh, that would have been a lovely quick line shot to see. Don't march in column when quick climb is about. We destroyed loads of artillery. We destroyed almost. We destroyed an entire gun team. Okay, let's get my cavalry ready because these dervishes are about to hit my blunderbuss shotgunners. As quicklime starts to do its evil work. Yep, they're running to close the distance. Eh, yeah, not such a fan of this, are you? Turn fire will on. Successful charge off. This form, I was, about, I was wondering if I'd get some shots off, but I think I might just have to let it form square. All these dervishes are about to run into my blunderbuss shotgunners. Just dervishes, so you still want to stay steady. Let's get my cavalry up here. That's not good. Let's get some conventional infantry in. Okay, let's halt and then fire one well again. The shotguns are doing okay. Oh no, the cavalry's come back. If I lose my howitzers, I lose my howitzers. Let's get some. Let's swamp the Bajer Lancers. Let's get my guys to carbine their cavalry. Let's try to shot the hell out of them with an entire battery of experienced troops. A very incredibly lethal canister shot. Yep, it's the end of them. Round shot the general's bodyguard, please. Let's 
the artillery exacts a deadly toll against. Yeah, I better aim at that general in case something funky happens. No, wait, that's not the general. General's back there. General's dead. I'm surprised these guys have stuck it out as much as they had. So let's turn the fire off for those guys. Turn the fire back on. Four mile line. Turn our foot artillery onto that battery there. Yes, I'd be concerned if I was you as well. Yeah, they're breaking. Everyone's routed. So, let's halt the fight. I want to continue. Let's halt the fight with everything. Chase him down. If we can kill any, if we can kill any particular units, then that's still that's just a big gain. I mean, it might be technically the smartest decision might be to run for the longest distance ones first, but. I don't mind. That's two units completely destroyed. Chomp. Decisive victory. Damn right it was decisive. That's why you can take back our lands that we stole from you. Who do you think you are? Look at that. 400 loss for 2,700 of them. Lovely stuff. Let's see. Oh. Are they trying to flank around in Afghanistan? Or they're just looking to try to raid these areas. There are currently no troops stationed. It's warning me they've abandoned my fort. How cute. Oh no, there's no one there, but what are we doing before? Yeah. Their religious their educational leaders are leaving because we're about to destroy their school. You chaps concerned. Are you worried? There's to blockade this push from the north in Afghanistan. Bengal's suitably blocked off. So it's not looking the inevitable. In this region. Oh, I keep looking at this and I always know. Sir. Okay, so let's move Gareth Rackham out. Put him in. in. So this garrison force just chop up these scallywags. Glorious victory. Yep, and you can just about take that we've left. Let's just go Forward. encompass Hyderabad from the east. Yes. Just group Forward. these infantry together. So now Katak is secure to advance out to the head of the gap. This army can push up to here and control the crossing. Ready. Just making sure there's nothing immediately obvious I need to do, except for make sure everyone Sir, who can replenish orders. is replenished. So let's put you in there. Replenish. At the ready. Replenish. Because no one wants to move here and trigger the assault. Because that will be a big fight. So what's that? Four full stacks nearly, maybe five. Yes, sir. Ready for orders. Poor souls. Okay, so lots of enemy raids. Come on, let's get you to Corpus Christi. Let's get you a sloop. Fleet arrived. Oh, God alive. <laughs> Where do we want them, fellas? OK, 
Okay, so let's drop one up in Kolachi. Yes. Sir. Um, yes, sir. You can run down those gallywags. Disembark the army. Sail you. Sail you over to here. Disembark. By the left. Right now, in lots of areas, I, I consider myself pretty well provisioned. And you're actually a pretty interesting army of lots of fusiliers. Let's drop off Eli Bell. Send you up to right up towards Hyderabad. Let's drop you off in the middle of a mess up here in Satara. Any orders? Norman Hall. Move up to the top here. Drop an army off here. Well. Force. Waiting further orders. Which is good because all we need at the minute. Send Calvin Mannering up against oh, Jalini oh, Josh. Oh, that was the army we've just fought. So it's a simple matter of pushing them off. Sir. Secure the bridge crossing. Orders. And replenish. Aye, sir. Felix Oldfield. Drop you off here. Because this fleet no longer needs to raid. Mosquito is a very experienced ship. Experience 9. Highest experience level in the game. So that's Niger. Heavy first. I'll find a, two ships at very high. So what's the ships doesn't look like it makes much of a difference. Maybe it does in the battle maybe it does on the battle map. Um, Felix, let's send you. Just send you to a port. Oh, we're in this naval Orders. hospital, do I? Stop! 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 Make ready. Send you up to there. Good. Let's get rid of all these fleet arrives. Workers on strike. Oh, they're okay now because we've knocked down their school. See, so you replenish. Do a buzz B with this. That force could yes. get destroyed, but it would take a lot of them with us. But Make ready. this is why you have armies in reserve. At the ready. Ready and waiting order. So you can bring up you up to here. Ready for no, ready not just the general. At the ready. Move up, move up. Awaiting further order. I mean, you could knock them out, but you're going to go north and fill in this gap that's just been left. Same with you, you go and settle in Kandahar. You will be dealt with, so Nathaniel Winthrop can advance eastward. But the first thing I want to do is probably take Noel Browning and advance into Arkhan and Maharaj. So. Oh, let's fight it normally. Back towards Hindustan to the north, I think, or to the northwest. We prefer war in all cases to tribute under any form to any pay. Lovely position. Set up an artillery park. Flank it with two grenadiers and four line infantry. Shrink it a bit for the sake of the grenadiers. Um, let's keep one infantry unit safe. To 
to stay behind the guns. Oh no, they're over here. I've been tricked by the howitzers. Come on, lads. There we go. Some guards. Can also stay in reserve. Same with the blend of my shotgunners. Advanced artillery. So a shrapnel shot for the foot artillery. Quick line. Quick line wants to go from my how it says Jesus. I know the force was depleted, but this is gonna be an artillery. This is just gonna be an absolute slaughter. Sea quarriers, poor devils, you don't wanna get close enough. Oh god, they blew a hole into the line of my troops. And they're hidden. Make it your business to knock out. Okay, cannons go for the uh, go for the go for the um, cavalry. Or don't. That's just as cool. And hold fire at will. Because here they come. Present. Yeah, I'll take the charge. Because this isn't even fair. Not that I'm all that bothered about fair, but. Unfair would be just doing this. This is what unfair would look like. I'm doing this. Go on, let's put them both back into the line. Fire at will. Straight ahead of the dervishes. Got alive! That's a lot of artillery. Ah, they've charged in. Bless them. Here we are, peasantry. Let's let him have a crack. Sea warriors are no good for <laughs> no. They're nothing compared to men with axes. Annoying, biting, breaking, hacking, burn. Good God. Everyone's laying into the shield of armed peasantry. Including all my artillery. I mean, it was. Well, those have missed terrifically. Artillery. Send in the general and go after these damaged units. Sikh warriors, Hindu warriors and dervishes. They can kill, what's it, 4, 11, 13 men and kill 3 units. It's 
escaped. I don't think it died, actually. Oh, that's a gunner, gun team. Yeah, they must have died. It gives this general... Oh, they're all stacking up behind the box. Will my cavalry do the same? Similarly, yeah. doing a great job at killing them. See, this is the problem my empire has. Look, just slaughter them. It was a pretty good victory, I must admit. After withering siege after siege after siege at Bengal, the time to push back is now. Immediately. Noel Browning, replenish. Yes. Norbert Jackson. I wonder what condition you're in. So, Probably yes. move Noel Browning up to here. You're fresh, so I'm, don't be too careful. Don't be too mental. Although I could just smash him. Yes, sir. As a matter of course, I might actually get rid of these weak units of infantry and replace them with some guards and marines. Then probably send you guys away. Sir. Charge him in. Ooh. Oh, mortars. Nope. Not on your own. Ready for all. At the ready. I don't want to cross over here with you. Hmm. Yes. So you push north. I need to research. Everything's going okay. Mannering's there. Um, who to attack? It's lots of artillery and lots of cavalry. Sir. You can't move. Sir. You're fortified, but... Do I just send you against them? Make ready. March, March. I mean, it says it's close, but I don't think it is. Granted, they've got lots of cavalry, but... We've got lots of artillery, and I doubt there will be any major problems. Pretty war, it was that which saved our liberties and gave us independence. Oh, lovely. Because they've got so many cavalry. My artillery's going to be plinking at the back with a conventional conventional shots. My infantry is going to form line up front. I want to advance on the right flank. Cavalry also on the right. General in the centre. Obviously I forgot my howitzers. charge. Although they are going to absolutely get wrecked. To fire will off all of my squares because obviously they will kill each other. Unlimber my foot artillery, switch to quick line. I don't want my cavalry involved in this because they've got no reason to. They will just die against our squares. I don't know why you guys have changed direction. Fire 
off. Oh, God alive, what is that? God damn. That's my cavalry force looted from friendly fire. Let's position my infantry in a more aggressive position. Should have targeted them, but my god. Probably deal with shrapnel shot now. Nope, get behind my lines. Let's target. Let's model my quick line to bombard the camels. Got my artillery firing shrapnel shot now. So it should be... Fire it will, lads. So we need to hunker down in square formation just to make sure we don't get massacred. Because the infantry... Well, the cavalry forces the infantry into squares and the infantry comes in and overwhelms them. Which is what's going to happen now. to counter charge them. Let's retarget my quick line. Of friendly fire, so let's target all of my gunners at the general's bodyguard. You guys charge straight on into the armed peasantry. You're still having a good old gun battle with those Hindu musketeers. You can probably deal with some quick line support if you're doing a conventional battle. You spin around and start engaging them. Me. You guys take this hill and spread out. Provide more muskets into the fray. Charge the household cavalry on. They're still holding out. Is about to get shot in the face. Oh no, they didn't. They've got fish reloading. We're targeting my 
artillery against the Hindu Musketeers. My gunners should still be making absolute mincemeat with their general. I mean, they've got an absolutely perfect field of fire. Let's bring my infantry back to Fort Line. Quick Lamb's dropping in against their infantry. Too bad the House of Cavalry are being are engaging the, the General's bodyguards. There's a charge on, because they're shattered, so they'll dive super easy. Charge on onwards into the mercenaries. Guns against the Hindu Musketeers. Let's move my general up in a position ready to respond. Oh, good. Move, move, move. Kill those dervishes. So these guys will break these mercenaries. Let's just get my general. Okay, firstly, halt all artillery fire. Get my general on the go. Let's move my cavalry. I'm not bothered about killing them, especially. They're Indian mercenaries, but I'd rather go after dervishes. Continue. Dervishes and musketeers are my preference. Of the troops I've got left to kill, that is at least. Go for armed peasantry. Because they may as well, rather than run all the way back. Contribute to getting that. Kill ratio up even higher. I mean, they're still chasing them down. I doubt they're... Might actually chase him down enough, fast enough to kill him. Yep, they got him. Good stuff. Seven, one man remaining. Then go help the House of Cavalry mow down all of these 67 guys. They're all spread out. At least they've done the smart thing. They've actually targeted a separate clump, but I could micro them around, but it's not going to really matter. The red line's only there. Close. That wasn't close. It was a bit hairy at spots. That's just an exaggeration. BS yes, lost 800 men. They lost nearly 3,000. Let's get you replenishing. Good stuff. Yes. Well, they should probably be grouping more infantry together to maintain. to try and get some super experienced units. I'm more interested to see what they're going to do up here rather than me doing anything about it just yet. Your humble servant. Mm, could do with actually another army down here. Because if I attack them, I'm going to hit this garrison army and this army in the port. Yes, so you, sir. Goodwin, Impossible. you're going to reroute yourself. Okay, now I'm intrigued to see what they do. <laughs> More troops are on the march. Spies are on their way over. Any remnants of good infantry are on their way over. Oh, opportunity to intercept. No, not with this weak army. Not with this fractional army either. That's 
no, that's still a, that, oh, if it was one of these bigger armies, maybe, but not. I mean, Peter Payne's pretty full. He's short three units, though. No. And I'm quite a lot of trouble to figure out what to do. There's another push towards Kabul. It's where do they send their armies? Enemy sail approaching! <sighs> Bridge battle? Don't mind if I do. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for a lovely opportunity to chew up some Wrath and Troops trying to cross a river. Radio. Thanks guys. <laughs>